I'm breaking angles like some old tops. My rhyme steady going. Please don't ask me if the flow stop. Deep in the pocket like the roof on a drop top. 101 Dalmatians, the way your boy drop dots. May hold up, I got you diving when I'm juking. The clip's so sick, like the smell from when you're pooping. I ain't get down and click the sub button. It hit the bell, cause I got a lot more of it. Yeah, who's mains? Terrence House head, who's mains? Bad mains. What's goody, what's poppin' YouTube? It's your boy, Who's Mans. You already know what time it is. Getting into another part of this New Orleans Saints ebook. Before we go ahead and get into that, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the bell so you never miss an upload. So let's get into it. Okay, so the next formation we're gonna go over is tight Y off. It's very similar to Deuce Close. Similar philosophy with this, it's just you have an extra wide receiver on the field instead of two tight ends. I'm not gonna show you really too much game footage of this because like I said, it's very similar to Deuce Close. There's only a select few differences with this. So instead of having the outside zone, I like to insert jet sweep. I also like to add in dry flood. I've shown you guys this on the intro clip. However, I have added just a few more things to this just because I think it's really nice. So the play that I usually come out in is PA Jet Sweep. I can show you guys me using this play in game as well, uh, just so you guys have a better understanding of how to read this play. But this play is very similar to the Yankee concept. I mean, it is the con the Yankee concept. It's just you have an extra receiver going out instead of blocking. So make sure that when you're running this. Uh, it draws down a defender into the motion. Very simply, I really like to run this against single high defenses because that is what this play was designed to uh, go against. This one is a little bit easier to read in my opinion because one, you have the motion. So usually you can see where the user is, number one. And number two, you have a clear out from Burks. So you have a nice high low on the right side of this formation. If the deep middle third defender, or if that is also man to man, if he decides to come down and try to take away the crossing route by Woods, Hooper is usually very open on this play. For example, when you're looking at this here, if the uh, safety up top, I'll put an arrow there, if that safety decides to come down on the crosser by Woods, Hooper should have a lot of space to catch the ball and run. However, if he doesn't, uh, I would like to look for Woods. This, like I said, this play usually will take the user away. from something and you see there there is a little bit of separation it gets a little hairy sometimes in man however if you have the athletes at wide receiver this play is just even better simply because crossing routes are a lot harder to guard in man so you see there is very consistent it's a very close call but you can run that With this being said, if you notice your opponent starts to uh, squeeze the offense or the defensive line, uh, I'll put in a clip of where my opponent decided to squeeze the defensive line to stop me from running inside, uh, which I was setting up all game for when I come out in this formation. Um, I, I don't have two controllers yet, but um, that is why I put in the jet sweep. You kind of lull them to sleep with this play. Uh, I ran it a few times 
and I usually like to run this against uh, cover zero blitzes or if, like I said they they bring everyone into the line uh, the user will stop carrying that route as much sometimes and that just leaves the door open for a nice gain here So after I've showed you guys the jet sweep and the play action that goes off of that, um, the other two runs, the zone weak, it's the same as dudes close. I really like to run this against certain fronts. The next play that I want to go over is dry flood. I really love this play. There's two different ways that you can go about this play. I really enjoy motioning Woods out further this way, and I'll read it Phillips number one, Woods two, and then Hooper three. Uh, it just seems to work out a little bit better this way because Hooper's route takes a little bit longer, and with this, you don't have to um, hot route anything as much. So I'm gonna read, he has leverage. You hit that up there, and that was almost a gain of 10. It's a very quick read. In the case of single high, I once again, I love this in zone because the route by Henry creates a Salem actually on that backside between Woods and Henry. And then you also have levels. Just gonna check. Okay, I like this by Phillips. We're gonna hit Phillips. And I'm gonna continue to run this play to show you guys how good it, it actually is. So we're gonna look at Phillips, he blitzes. I'm throwing that route immediately. You have quick reads involved in this play. And it also, with this motion out here, it does mimic a lot of the motions that you're gonna do with Deuce Close. So we're gonna see Derrick Henry holds the flat defender just enough right here creates a nice window for the number one right here just in case you don't like the underneath or maybe you want to pick up a few more yards this creates a Salem concept and it's a high low right at this moment uh, right when he breaks this way I should have already th tried to throw the ball but can't so right here same play moving Michael Thomas out and like I said we're gonna read the drag number one and then we're gonna look at Michael Thomas number two. So you see there, the user goes ahead and takes away the drag. So now we're gonna read this defender. He stays down, taking the Kamara out. So now we're gonna look at Michael Thomas. You see he's gonna come out and uh, route him up, get the first down and boom. So the one downside is it does take a bit to uh, execute. However, if you see this corner, on this side or if you see the corners in general stay low right you see them stay low so you look at that read you're saying okay um, I don't like this read because this cornerback stays low you understand what's happening on this end here now in this play you don't like that right there at that very moment but if you do have time you can wait just a little bit because you understand if this is cover two, he's not going past this point where he is now. So you can lead him up the field into this area here. The next play that I really like to run is this PA boot slide. It plays the exact same as PA boot slide and deuce close. It's just once again, you have another very athletic player in the mix. And once again, you read it the exact same. So first, I like to look for Woods on the crosser at number one. And from there, I high-low it. Now we're gonna run this play, get the user down into the box, and look at the crosser's wide open. All right, so that was tight wide off. And that's gonna round out the single back formations. 
Next, we're going to get into the gun formations. A lot of really cool uh, plays out of that. Uh, I don't really run too much gun in this playbook, but it is nice to mix it up, give your opponent a different look so that they're not uh, keying in on too much from you. Um, let me know in the comments below if you do enjoy playbooks like this. Maybe I'll do some a deep dive uh, next year in Madden 24. I definitely am going to get heavily into the playbooks in NCAA whenever that comes out. But um, yeah, just let me know in the comments below if you've been using it, if you like it, if you enjoy it, if you enjoy stuff like this. Um, I think that the more I dig, the more time I actually I have to dig into the defensive side, I'm going to dig into that as, uh, as much as possible as well because I have a ton of playbooks on my computer, real life playbooks on my computer that I've been studying up um, and kind of trying to learn these real concepts. But anyway, like I said, thank you for watching my videos. Remember GITG, give it to God. And uh, yeah, man, have a good uh, good day.